Now it's six straight games since Providence has scored a goal in the first period. 11 times this year they have not scored in the first, and there's one, Thompson, who finds the back of the net. It's a first period goal for Providence, seven for Thompson in a one nothing lead. And this is just a great finish by Tice Thompson, and actually this play is set up by a nice hit by Nick Poisson across the board. Berger, up forward, keeps in. A shot, save, rebound, score! Patrick Moynihan able to clean it up, bang it home, and it's 2-0 Friars. And this line of Prince Ford and Moynihan has been so effective on creating those opportunities off of those turnovers. You can see that, you know, Prince going hard to the net, Moynihan following up with that, that loose rebound. And then, you know, of course, Parker Ford does a great job of just keeping that puck in and getting that, that puck to the net. That, you know, you got to throw the, the, those bodies and traffic on the body. Quick shot here goes wide. Fires overpassing a little bit here. Now Ford scores! Power play goal, Parker Ford, and it's 3-0 Providence. And this is just a beautiful setup. Perfect execution by Tice Thompson to Parker Ford. You know, great puck movement down low, and you can see Tice Thompson who very quickly finds Parker Ford, tees him up perfectly, allows Parker Ford to wind up with a one-timer to allow this one to find its way completely past. I'm off the penalty. Down to 40 seconds to go, and the puck back into the Connecticut end. This is the sixth penalty, and it's in the net! It's a short-handed goal for Providence as they cleared it out of the zone and it winds up in the net. Now the question is, did Thompson get a piece of that or is this directly off the Connecticut player and into his own net? And that is gonna do it. Friars are gonna win it. It is shutout number four of the year for Jackson Stauber as the Friars are out to salute him. He was solid, the Friars getting two goals in the first and a good home win for nothing.